right now for this 2020 through 2021 season, Killer Encounters. And it's been a minute since we've done what we call Roadkill Eulogies, which is a segment that we do as morbid as it is and uh, as unique. It is peculiar. Wouldn't you agree? I hate doing this. I <laughs> peculiar. Oh, he, he I loves it. it. We go find right. something dead and uh, he says some encouraging words of wisdom. I would rather just go and kill something. <laughs> kill something and then roast it? Well... He has a newfound hatred or dislike for deer right now because, uh, yeah, one made contact with this very vehicle. He got it back just not that long ago, and uh, yeah, so he's joined the club. That was fun. Yeah, and uh, it just makes you want to go and just do something to the deer like that. Yeah. Look at that brand new vehicle. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. I swear. Yeah. Exactly. We're on the search right now to find any kind of uh, roadkill um, to say some words to and, and um, wish him the best. And uh, yeah, so far we've driven for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and uh, nothing. So we'll see. Is any other time when you're not looking for them, they're there. And then, of course, when you're looking for them, they. Uh, the Grim Reaper comes and picks them up, or, you know, other animals, but... Uh, passing the semi, uh, now wait for us to find something dead, like up here, and <laughs> the semi's right behind us. Yeah. I'll be like, damn. This is like the last thing in this. <laughs> Of everything we do, this is the most dreaded. Yeah. 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 And, uh, not just the norms, what people expect, and this clearly goes above and beyond that it's uh because this is something people wouldn't expect it's out of the norms um yeah sure yeah we found something all right oh wait i think he's twitching go say some things for to it it's not twitching maybe that's just the wind it's the wind okay <laughs> We get close to it, and jumps up, and ah. like, ah. And, yep. It's, it's, uh, sleeping. It's, ah. I'm, I'm sorry, furry little guy. You're dead. had a fluffy butt. That's a shame. Poor thing. Quite fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Alright. Another one here. This one is a... Oh! Possum! Our first possum. Yep, just do that. Yeah, you can say something. Uh, it looks like you shot yourself. Yikes. Ah, that's about what a bad episode of Taco Bell looks like. He's not playing possum anymore. Oh. Sorry, you're dead. Oh, possum!
monitors are really interesting creatures. Um, there's a turtle going down the ramp over there. Monitors are really interesting creatures in the way that they really resemble prehistoric dinosaurs in their own way. They're one of those reptiles that you can kind of see, you know, um, in the way they look and everything. So he wasn't very hungry today. Normally, uh, well, it's hit and miss. Sometimes he'll go ahead and really eat uh, immediately. Sometimes it's a waiting game. I almost think today he's smart enough and knows he's on camera, so he wasn't gonna do it. All right, so these guys do become a little bit socialized once they've been worked on. You know, you have to tame them. It's best to obtain these from a captive breeder and start when they're young. Otherwise, these things can be little velociraptors. It can be quite, um, well, harder, especially when they're full size. This guy can get three to four feet size when he's full grown. So, mangrove monitors, pretty cool. And they uh, take in scent and observance of their surroundings through their tongue, so much like a snake. So as you can see, he's in tongue to figure out what's going on. And uh, also, they have a third eye, some lizards do. You see a white spot on his head in the center there, right there. It kind of senses movement and shadow, so um, it's kind of a neat thing. Some people don't know that, but yeah, some lizards do have a uh, considered a third eye. Come on, lightning. Good name for you. You're fast. Go. There you go. I'll leave that on there. Sometimes I feed them with the toss. Um, I have three pinky mice down there. Also some mealworms and uh, I'll walk away after this little excitement for him and you guys will watch. See if he comes out and eats. I'm gonna leave the room. temporarily into a uh, holding tank see if I'll be able to get him to eat he's, uh, he was hungry earlier So we finally ate, got out, more active. Um, I'm gonna leave him some extra mealworms and stuff in his tray. He'll eat on uh, when he wishes. Uh, the pinky mice don't feed him, uh, but more than maybe once, maybe twice a week on those and just insects and um, monitor blend and stuff the rest of the day. It's just because they are a very fatty type thing and you don't want an obese lizard, you know. So, no Weight Watchers for Lizards. Until next time, stay tuned to the next Peculiar Exotic. It's this place. Oh, shit. Where are we? Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, got you now. Little country places. <sighs> Snakes. I think it ticks, but we'll have to do a check. How does one even get over there? Can you even get over there? I don't think so. What was it, five leaves? Stay away. Uh, just don't touch your face. <laughs> don't touch anything. Just don't touch your gentleness. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. Pretty destroyed. Jugs in here. Tetanus world, here we come. Hopefully not. Wow. One second. What is it? Oh. Yes. Being the white the stairs. Of course. Heard you want to do this a little bit. Uh huh. Have you poked down there like in the last place? Yes, I will poke around like the last but <laughs> I don't Um yeah, there's like a huge nail right there. <laughs> Unlike the last place, at least these stairs are you know, not gonna more yeah, they're concrete. Or they're stone. I don't know. Ugh. It smells down here. Yeah. Definitely dead stuff. There's nothing down there. Let's go around. Let's go around. Shame. Ooh. Hello. Huh. Mm. It's lots of glass. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, my shadow. Field. Some more decrepitness. Yeah, it's definitely falling down. Yeah. That's cool. Look at it in here. La branches are in my room. Little jugs oh. and and uh, stuff. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to say it's one thing or another, but there's a lot of jugs. There are a lot of jugs. Pump? It's like, yeah, it's old yeah. sink. So, That's old. Not to sound uh, like repetitive on um, exploration take videos. Take a photo of your tape. Yeah. Take a video of your head. That's old. Yeah, did you not see that? That's the water oh. pump. That's what I said. Let's go explore that. I'm just gonna stand by a 
branch. Branch stand. Alrighty, well, this is why I prefer exploring in kind of in the fall season. Things are dead, vegetation's not here, and there's not really much insects. Oh, I found the pathway. Yeah. Oh, there's tree down. Mm -hmm. tree, tree, down. Down. tree down. Okay. So now we go in there. That one Very right quick. there. That one won't take long. Well, unless of course it falls on us. It Remember, hands up. Hands up if the roof falls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you okay there? Making sure I don't have any ticks. Oh, I thought you were throwing a tick at me. I was like, what? I am. Pick one off you. I have a burr thing. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few burrs. What is that? So every once in a while we still come across some abandoned things and uh, document them because who knows next year this might not even be here. Never know. Yeah. The old uh, architecture on that. <laughs> 